Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to Kitten's Revolt. In the last episode, we were working in the sunken archives and uh, clearing the top of the lake when we discovered uh, the enchanter. And he wanted a item that we were supposed to get from the Lonely Tower. And, well, um, I looked kind of normally. Just kind of looked around and whatnot, and I couldn't find it. Um, so I went into another world, uh, basically copied the files over uh, from the original save, and just to see if maybe there was creepers in here, did they explode something, you know, did something go wrong? And, yeah, no, nothing went wrong. Um, so it took me a while. I completely annihilated the place. I used commands to get rid of like stone and all that kind of stuff just to search and see what's around. I will say going in this world in a spectator mode, there's some really interesting things. Um, there, There's two bedrock boxes underneath here, uh, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they're there. Uh, they're completely empty. So there's like no command blocks or anything like that. There is a random piece of bedrock. Um right up there i do believe and there's just some it looks like honestly map making mistakes um this was probably made in mc edit and just small mistakes from mc edit but yeah i found the old the old baton i think is what it's called whatever the item is and i'm a little upset by it uh and i will explain why once we get there um but i want to be fully like transparent um, with all of this and explain a couple things that I, I did do so um, because I was in spectator mode I could see a lot of things and I flew around a little bit and I was kind of showing off things to my girlfriend um, just kind of like you know hey th this is uh, one of the traps I found and all this kind of stuff and just kind of talking about the map uh, and yeah I might have looked a little bit ahead at the sunken archives apologies I tried not to spoil myself too much but I ended up just like exploring around a little bit um, nothing too in-depth but I do know where the wool is I do kind of know what's coming up with that area um, I saw the final area from through uh, spectator mode and it looks really cool it also looks really intense um, but I didn't see too much with that so I didn't like go into that area or anything like that and um, I didn't see the next area that we're going to go to, the one that's the, like, super hot planet. I didn't see that at all, so, uh, that's not going to be spoiled. Just the sunken archives. Uh, anyways, the, the treasure chest is right here. Officer's baton. Now, this is why I'm upset. Um, so we're just going to break that. And I'm going to put this back. Um, so I'm, I'm a little upset by this. Why? This is the Raindrop Cavern. This says the Lonely Tower. This is not the Lonely Tower. This is the Raindrop Cavern. I searched really, really, like, I, I searched through all of the Lonely Tower. Um, that place in my other world is completely and utterly just gone. Um, I don't think I can record it, though, because my computer doesn't like recording Minecraft normally. I'm, like technically playing on the mod launcher but there's no mods in this so i i don't know it I, i'm not going to show off what all i did but there is next to nothing left and i was searching for probably a couple of hours um but i didn't think to come over here and look for it um so with that being said we're gonna head back to the sunken archives and today is the day we're going to go under the water now we have depth strider 3 we have respiration and aqua affinity we should be good to go um so like i said i've seen a little bit of what's to come um with the sunken archives specifically i do know um there are a lot of diamonds um but they're kind of spread out and I do know relatively where to go, but um, we're gonna explore everything because there is a lot of loot there. Uh, and there is a couple more chests. Uh, I saw the chests, I saw their names, but I didn't see what was in them. I didn't actually look. Uh, so that is a thing as well, but uh, yeah, should be fun. Uh, I know about one trap, but that's about it. So um, apologies that I looked ahead. It was just 
kind of, I don't know, it's too enticing. Sometimes, sometimes it's like, I just want to see what's going on. Um, now, something I do plan on doing, once we defeat this map completely, we're going to go into spectator or creative mode uh, and just look around. And I want to show off kind of the map itself. Um, it's surprisingly small, uh, which doesn't feel that way. Uh, a lot of the areas are like right next to each other and whatnot. And just kind of looking around uh, and see things because I think it could be kind of interesting, kind of fun. Uh, but anyways, we're going to stop by here for just a second. Uh, I don't think I have enough uh, emeralds to do anything with this old baton, which by the way, it's unbreakable. It would have been really nice to have that at the very beginning of the game. Um, but we're just going to throw it in here for right now. Uh, we also have some lapis, which is awesome. But we don't really need anything like that right now. Uh, that is empty. All right, cool. So we're going to just drop off things. I want to make sure. Okay, it's just a block of diamond. We don't need gold. There is also gold underneath the water. We saw that last time. Um, there is a lot of gold. And um, the big reason I was just kind of curious, um, which is why I kind of looked of if there was things in the little paths that we had found. Um, there are. And that's where we need to go. But um, I was just curious if there was anything at the like bottom of the water. So uh, I'm gonna real quickly sort this stuff out. Uh, the lapis can go in here. And yeah, I think I think we're good to go. So. The problem with the area that we're going to be coming up to is guardians. Uh, guardians are the main thing that we have to worry about under the lake. Um, part of the thing I was also looking for is I just wanted to make sure that there was no elder guardians. I don't want to get jump scared. Uh, more than anything, uh, elder guardians themselves are not like that awful. Uh, I just don't want to get jump scared. <laughs> so we're going to head back here and let's get into it so leave the sunken archives are over here and I, I think you know we, we could use new pants we could use a new chest plate the chest plate we can't actually take off until we die which we haven't died yet um, I'd like to keep it that way but no no way to know for sure um, what to expect coming in the next two areas plus this area um, so there is a good chance that we'll probably die before everything is said and done. Um, but let's go ahead and, uh, I don't believe I have the emeralds. I'm not, I'm not too worried about getting the other sword. Uh, let's actually go down there and I want to see what's on it. Um, you know what? Might be easier just to do this. Come down here and try to find some spawners. So it doesn't look like there's any spawners right here, but we can go ahead and get our first diamonds. Um, so this is kind of awesome. Um, two diamonds. We do have fortune one on our pick. You know, we should probably try to get a higher level of fortune. Um, so there is a path over here that way, and then there's a path back there. For the record, that's where we need to go. But we'll get there later. All right, so I want to real quickly talk to this guy. So I want to be reminded what he has. Um, so fortune one, huh? iron pickaxe and some emeralds. That's not bad. Um, so the enchanter's boomstick huh? is sharpness three, which we have knockback two, fire aspect one, and then huh? sweeping edge two. Um, it is slightly better huh? because it has uh, knockback two and sweeping edge. Huh? We just need three blocks of emeralds now. Um, that's not too bad to do. There are emeralds down below. 
And I want to get rid of some of these spawners before they cause too much issue. So yeah, that is the path we technically need to go. Um, but I want to explore the bottom of the lake a little bit as well. There's another spawner right there. And we can't do the sprint swim underwater. Um, not in this version. Uh, it is very dark. I do apologize for that, but not much I can do. Uh, and there are emeralds down there. And it doesn't seem like there's too many spawners, to be perfectly honest. Uh, which is really quite nice. So... Just swim down a little bit. Up, oh, there's a spawner right there. Yep, I don't care about you. Uh, I wish I could see your lasers, but I don't know why I can't. Uh, I feel like my particles are on. Uh, let's let's check that real quick. Uh, video settings, particles are all on. So I have no idea why I can't see uh, the lasers. But let's come over here. See if we can't find any more spawners. There's another spawner right here. And we have mining fatigue. Oh, so they give mining fatigue. You know, I'm okay with that. Um, mining fatigue is annoying, but I'd rather it be from the normal guardians than um, the elder guardians. I just hate that jump scare. Uh, so yeah, there is still a lot of things. Let's check this like bottom stack, make sure there's no spawners on here. And before we mine any more diamonds, because I do know there are more, I've seen a couple more, I think. Um, by the way, these guys are not called Guardians. They have a custom name. At least some of them do. Uh, I have no idea where he went. Oh, I might not be able to see the laser because of... Um, the customization stuff. There is another spawner right there. And we're going to just drop all the way down. And you know what? Let's actually find another set of diamonds. Uh, there are emerald blocks down here, which is really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one. Ow. And... Yeah, I don't know how many more spawners are down here. I am having so much trouble seeing. Wait, do we have the... No. <laughs> there is no swimming in this version. Uh, I think that was 1.13. I don't know why I feel like that was that version of Minecraft, but I feel like it was. Anyways, we have one block of emeralds. Also have some pr prismarine stuff. Um, not a big concern. There is another spawner right there. Um, but yeah, I just want to get rid... There's also more... Um, more uh, diamonds. Let's break that. Swim over here. Grab the diamonds. I want three diamonds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and get a new pick and enchant it. Yeah, they do weird things, for the record. Um, they have, like, uh, area of effect stuff. Um, that's all command block and whatnot. But we have three diamonds. Uh, I would like to get a diamond pickaxe with fortune three. Fortune three would be really nice. Um, whether or not we can get that, I don't know. But um, we're going to back off for a moment. Mostly let some of those guys despawn. And we're going to try to get the Enchanter, Enchanter's Boomstick. Now, here is the thing with that. Um, the biggest like reason to get that is not for the weapon itself, but rather for the just sheer 
Um, History Rune. I want to see what's on that one. Uh, just for the sheer, like, unbreakable. Um, if you don't have to worry about durability of a sword, uh, it's really nice. Like, currently our pick is about to break, which is awful. Um, it is Fortune 1, which is not the best, but, uh, you know, having, like, a Fortune 3 pick that, that, that is this low, um, it gets expensive to repair. Uh, and that's not something you really want to have to deal with. Now, we're going to go back to the base. And to the base proper, that is. Uh, unless we have more emeralds. Which I don't think we do. Uh, so we're going to have to get a few more emeralds before we can get... Oops. I immediately walked back onto the... Um... So yeah, we're going to have to get a few more emeralds if we want to uh, get the boomstick, uh, which should be a it should be a good weapon. Uh, then we'll keep this one in our chest. Um, we can potentially upgrade the boomstick, I think. Uh, I don't think that would get rid of the unbreakable part. That is the only real concern. Because um, again, that is like the most important part of that sword. Uh, the fact that it's a diamond sword is nice but uh, so we have smite so what is on this mystery rune for okay first of all let's go ahead and get some sticks that is not sticks um we're gonna put arrows in here and I don't seem to have any more emeralds, at least, obviously. I have plenty of emeralds. Okay. So we have the three emerald blocks. We can get what we need. Uh, let's actually keep those in our ender chest. Um, so we're going to make a diamond pick, first of all. Uh, I want to see... Efficiency. Well, that's awful. Uh, so what's on these other two runes for a pickaxe? What I want is um, mostly fortune. Efficiency is also good. Do not want Curse of Vanishing. Silk Touch is not what I want either. Um, so we're going to have to do some enchanting now we can always put efficiency one on it but efficiency four uh we need 28 levels let's get a book and see oh man that is uh oh, that's risky um that is very risky do we have the ability to get 28 levels I guess that's the first question. Um, and then the question is whether it's worth it or not. Uh, so... Like, one more? Aw, oh, man. Okay. So... Efficiency 4 is really good. But it might have Silk Touch on it. it. It has nothing. Okay, that's fine. Respiration. Um, you know, Respiration 2. Is there another? I need 28 levels. Um, okay. So at the very least, we can go ahead and put uh, Unbreaking on it. And that is a really good pickaxe. For the time being. Now... I still need to get some sort of fortune. Uh, and so let's go ahead and just enchant a little bit more. Uh, sweeping edge, why not? Protection 2. Efficiency 2. Protection 2. Sharpness 3 would be really good. So we're going to keep that um, for now. 
as is. And let's go ahead and go get that sword. Um, and I'm actually going to put my other sword away. Now, at this point, I don't want to mine diamonds. Um, I could put Silk Touch on this one. And then get a... You know what? Let's... Hmm. Let's do that. Because I can carry around the ore, and then we can process the ore later. Um, so Silk Touch would be perfectly acceptable. So let's do that. There, there's one of the rune books that has Silk Touch. Uh, and then we can also make a uh, iron pick and see if it has anything good. So we'll need some iron to smelt up. And apparently I also need some coal. Uh, I am going to need more torches. So we'll, we'll, we'll resupply a little bit. But... Um, I don't need that many because there is two more sticks in here. Alright. Not that we need too many torches right now, but... Um, I don't remember which book it is, but we're going to use one of them to put a silk touch on this diamond pick. So that is the efficiency, I think. Silk touch. It doesn't ruin it or anything like that. It's going to cost five levels. That is fine. And then we can just put um, fortune on an iron pick and call it a day. So this way we can efficiency for i'm not going to do efficiency this time uh, i am going to do just uh fortune and that's probably going to take a while to get uh is this almost done no okay i guess we can wait um so we're going to get the new sword uh i'm actually going to do something really silly and put this sword away completely uh and cool um, we're going to get the new sword, and then hopefully at some point we can get the, um, we'll enchant the book next um, with sharpness 3, and hopefully that will allow us to get um, sharpness 4 on the unbreakable sword. Make it even better. So the only thing bad about the unbreakable sword is knockback, and the only thing with that is skeletons. Um, anything with a bow, anything with ranged damage. Uh, is really annoying with knockback because, well, they get out of your um, sword range. And so you you then have to deal with the thing shooting at you from a further distance. Um, not that fun. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> we'll deal with that. Uh, it'll be a good sword in general. Uh, skeletons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, blazes are also a concern, but most of the time blazes you're going to hit with your uh, bow anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. So we're going to get the boomstick and see how good it is. Um, and then what we're going to honestly do is just find a place where we can safely drop down. Um, we'll need to go underneath there. There is some more emeralds. Um, but more importantly, we just need to go find the diamond ores. And this gives us the enchanter's boomstick. Awesome. So with that, you know, did I check underneath this? Okay. I just wondered if that was trapped at all. Uh, it doesn't seem to be. We already have one, so I'll keep that one there. That's out of place. Um, that is very odd. Uh, anyways, we'll just put this stuff back. Whatever. Uh, anyways, let's go down back in the water. Uh, and... There's a spawner right there. There's another spawner right there. Oof. There's like three spawners right here. So let's break these guys. Okay. 
He was looking at me weird. Um, let's grab this. There is more emeralds. Uh, so there is like enough emeralds down here to make sure. Ow. All right, let's eat a golden apple. Uh, let's get out of here before we drown. And this might be bad. Um, actually, not too bad. Okay, there was a lot of spawners in that one little area. That was weird. We have plenty of golden apples, so I'm not worried about that. Um, okay, so there is more diamonds down there. There is a ton of spawners in that one area. I don't know why. Now there's a bunch of guardians just kind of hanging around. Let's go to the bottom. There is... Try to get some of these other spawners, I guess. Because uh, at the very least, this is experience. Get the uh, diamond blocks that we see. And that, I think, is a good enough stopping point. Let's grab this diamond. Uh, okay, so that is, I think, a good enough stopping point. Um, we've got quite a few uh, good things this episode. Next time, we are going to go um, deal with the rest of this underwater area, um, work through that a little bit, and hopefully get enough levels so that we can start enchanting things a little bit more and get a fortune book um, so that we can turn these diamonds into usable things. Um, it would be really neat to have full diamond armor before the next area. That would be way overpowered probably, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!